All right, guys, sorry. So hopefully you come back over here. So, Tammy, I don't know why I cannot see all those questions, which is annoying. Hey, George. Um, I think Tammy said that they were, uh, yeah, the, I don't know what happened with the feed there. And I can't see all the stuff that Tammy wrote. Hey, okay. Give me a no sound. You guys can't hear me? George, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, okay. You can hear me now. Hopefully. All right, Tammy, so you, so you said they were pet beds? I would totally stop making them. Seriously, especially if you're selling them for $35. I mean, you could go to the store, you can go to PetSmart and buy one for six bucks, seven bucks, right? I would stop making them. Um, so these rice, these rice packs and these seatbelt covers. How much profit do you make on them and how long does it take you to make them? Oh, Tommy could hear me, but George couldn't. That was weird. Huh. Seatbelt takes you about an hour, okay. Very good. Same for rice pack. Now how much profit do you make on each one? Okay, thank you, George. If you sell the rice packs for 13 and $15, how much does it cost you to make? And if you sell the seatbelt covers for $8 and $12, how much does it cost you to make them? This is my... It cost you five to ten dollars for the seatbelt cover. Okay. Or you make five to ten dollars. Hold on. Did you just tell me? It costs you about ten dollars to make the rice pack, so you make no profit. Oh. All right, just type out in a full sentence because there's numbers all over the place, and I know it's my fault till I keep asking you questions. You make about ten dollars profit on the rice pack, right? No, oh, it's okay. You're fine, Tammy. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Okay. How much? So you sell them. So it costs you about three or five bucks to make the uh, rice pack. So how much profit do you make on the seatbelt cover? Five to ten dollars profit, or is that how much it costs you? Break the complete sentence for me, please. I'm sorry. I already got an idea for you to help you. Five to ten dollar profit. So what's the bit? Why, why the big gap? Why is it either five or two ten dollars? What's the what's the deal here? Is it based on whether you do one or you do two? Five to ten dollars. The most cost of them is the inner lining and the Velcro. Because of eight dollars for single and twelve dollars for a set, that may work out more. Okay. All right, let's talk about these rice packs though. So right up right now I'm gonna we're gonna help you make more cash flow by telling you this, Tammy. Are you ready? Stop making the beds. Stop making the beds. Okay, because I'm going to tell you why. The beds take you anywhere from three to six hours. Right? And you're like, oh, but I make um, $15 on them or $15 to $20 on them. But it took you three to six hours. Right? So you're not making much money at all, if anything. Whereas if you stop making the beds, stop making one bed, let's say right now, that might cost you six hours to make, and you're only going to make $15 on it, okay? Stop making that one bed. Now you have six hours now back, and it takes you an hour to make a rice pack. You can make six rice packs because you did not make that one bed, and those six rice packs will give you $60. Versus that one bed that took you six hours to make that will make you $15. Does that right there, just that little tidbit make sense? And George and Glenn and Wes and whoever else is here, please feel free to chime in if you think Tammy should stop making the beds. Not only that, though, Tammy, they are so cheap in other places. Like, I, I get them for five bucks. Like, I don't know how you have people paying you 35 bucks for them, number one. But number two, your time can be better spent somewhere else to make more cash flow. So in order for you, what you're doing right now, okay, you need 3000 a month minus 800 you make at the daycare. That's $2,200. You sold like eight of them. Okay, well, don't sell any more of them. Stop selling them. <laughs> stop selling them, stop making them, okay, stop, um, how many rice packs and how many um, seat covers have you sold, yeah, 60 is better than 15, you're sold out of what, Okay, stay sold out of beds. Don't ever sell a bed again. Okay, don't sell beds anymore. <laughs> so 10 seat covers. 12 rice packs. 
Okay, so do you see like what we're talking about? You make more money on the rice packs and they take less time for you to make. So the seat, I mean the uh, the beds, although people might like them, they're not profitable for you. Like it, it just doesn't make financial sense for you to keep making them. Okay, I don't care that they're sold out. Who cares? Don't be sold out forever. Don't ever make them again. Does that? I hope that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> So you haven't sold much of this stuff. So I'm assuming you just started doing this. And I'm also assuming that you do not sell rice packs or seat belt covers on your cat group. See, I know you belong to a lot of cat groups. So that's why I was really wanting to like the beds, but I don't like them. I forget about the beds. Um, but the rice packs, I really, uh, I'm like of that. And that, you said that's for, um, yes, you have in October. You have what? Yes, I have in October. You have what in October? Oh, started selling in October. Started selling in October. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, good. I'm going to save you a ton of time and energy. Stop making the beds. <laughs> You're going to kill yourself for nothing. Um, you do, you sell them all. You do, you sell them all. What does that mean? You're on, the, on your cat group? Because it, do, it doesn't make sense. Unless, unless they have cat designs on them. Okay, well, donating is not going to pay your bills. Donating is amazing. Like we're in rescue. I get it, but that's not gonna that's not gonna not have your mom's social security be used, right? Oh, great question, Tammy. Did you see that? Is your mom able to help make the rice packs? So then, in six hours, instead of making six, you can make twelve. Because my calculations are. Okay, stop making the beds. Don't tell people you sell beds anymore. <laughs> um, okay, and they have prints on them. All right. Okay, no problem. Mom can't help out. All right. So my calculations show that you need to come up with $2,200 extra month because the 800 bucks is from the daycare. All right. So if your profits are 10 bucks, you make $10 profit by selling that rice pack. That means you need to sell 220 rice packs, right? So that's 220 hours divided by, let's say, mm, four. Ooh. That's 55 hours a week. What made you start selling this stuff, Tammy? Because uh, I'm going to be honest. And guys, tell me what you think, George, Glenn. To come up with $2,200 selling rice packs and seat belt covers, you're going to be working your ass off, girl. You're not going to have time for a rescue. You're not going to have time for a mom, you know? I need money and I can't leave the house for a regular job. Okay. Okay, okay, I get that. Pillows, tell me about these pillows. I'm trying, I'm thinking of an offer here. I'm trying to think of an offer that'll make you more money. And I'm looking at seatbelt covers. I don't get them. I mean, I get that people buy them, but I don't get them. Yeah, there you go. Put your nieces and nephews to work. I like that, George. Tell them you'll feed them if they'll make these for you.
They are printed about the size of a throw pillow, so a little bigger. What is that that you're talking about? That's the that's the pillow, the pillow, okay. And how much profit do you make from them? And how long do they take to make? Eight. I'm just doing math in my head. I wish I could put them to work. <laughs> Tell me about those pillows. How much do they cost to make and how long did it? There you go. Pillows are easy to make. 30 minutes. I buy the fluff. Or the box for $25. Okay, so how much does it cost you to make a pillow? Including the fluff, including the material, whatever. I think I might like these pillows, maybe. <laughs> So it costs you two to three dollars to make the pillow. And it takes you a half hour to make them. How many pillows can you make with that twenty-five hour box of fluff? It sounds funny saying that box of fluff. <laughs> it's hard to figure the fluff. You don't know how many so that two to three dollars, does that not include the fluff or it does include the fluff? You're just kind of guesstimating. That's why you said two to three. $25 for the box of fluff. That's pretty. You think it would include it roughly. Well, okay, so the first thing that you need to know, any business owner needs to know, is you need to know your expenses. Know your costs. Don't think it. Don't guess it. Know it, okay? Oh, I love George's idea, Tammy. Did you read that? I love that. Get a heat press machine, buy some shirts, and press out some pet shirts. Always sell. Pet shirts always sell and sell good. Just the idea. You can even print on pillows, pillowcases. Also fast, easy work, no hard labor. Just an idea for you that you can do from home. My sister-in-law has one of those press things, and it's easy. Psh, makes a shirt. Psh, makes a shirt. Then you, you have to... Um, the design, I forget how she came up with the design. I think she does that on a computer. I like where you're going, though, George. I also like these pillows, Tammy, because, first of all, your number one job is to find out exactly your cost. Exactly. Not guessing, not thinking, because what if you think it costs 2 to $3, but it ultimately costs you $7, right? I don't know. I'm just making that up. Yeah, George's idea is to make t-shirt, like make a t-shirt, right? So maybe you go to, just an example, we're not telling you how to do this, but you go to Joanne Fabrics, you buy a $5 t-shirt. Well, you're going to have to pay, you're going to have to track it every time you use the fluff. So you get your box of fluff, right? You got your full box of fluff and mark on it every time you put it. And in a pillow, in a pillow. And then when the box of fluff is empty, see how many pillows you made, right? Because you marked it on there, right? And then you'll be able to figure out, oh, okay, this box of fluff lets me make 37 pillows. I'm making that up. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. You said you bought a 10-pound 
thing of fluff. I'm assuming you still have a ton of fluff left over, right? So figure out the fluff, and it's gonna it might take you a bit because you probably still have a lot left. So just start marking on there how many pillows you've made with the fluff, box of fluff you got. Don't use anything else for it, okay? But yeah, George, so what George is saying is you buy one of those heat press machines, you create this design on your computer, and then you print um, you print a um, on the on the shirt with the heat press, okay? You went through a lot of fluff. Okay, but you get what I'm saying about figuring out the fluff? Like, you want to know how how many pillows that box makes, okay? But then, so with the shirt, George is saying, so a lot of shirts, you could sell for like 25 bucks online. A t-shirt, a t-shirt that has a cool cat pictures or cool cat sayings or cool whatever. It can say whatever. So you sell that for 25 bucks. It costs you five bucks to buy the t-shirt at Joanne's Fabrics, right? Does that make sense? So I, I think I, I like where George is going with this T-shirt. Um, I like your pillows, too, because they don't take long to make, but still. Yeah, you totally, well, the machine is really small. The one my uh, sister-in-law has is really small. Uh, I don't know how much they cost. I, I'll ask her if that might be something you got to save up for or ask Santa Claus for. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Heat press machine. One for two hundred bucks. One for one hundred twenty-five bucks. This is the, like the one she has. It's like two hundred bucks. One one seventy-nine. One twenty-one. One eleven. So it's something you're gonna have to save up for. So you have the cost of that machine. You buy that machine one time. Do I have Santa's number? No, I don't have Santa's number. But I think you could write him a letter to the North Pole. That might work. Um, so you buy that machine one time. I like this. I, I think I, I, I like that idea best, George. I think I like your idea best because, okay, so Tammy, are you open to this shirt idea? So I'm seeing t-shirts as low as $1.68. However, I don't know what the minimum order is. Like if you're buying wholesale, sometimes you know you got you, there's a, like a minimum order they want you to have. Tammy, tell us in the chat if you're open to this t-shirt idea. Because what I want you to do is I want you to pick one thing for right now that can give you a decent profit. And I want you to kick ass with it. Let me see here. And if anybody else, oh wait, wholesale apparel available to everyone. Quantity discounts and no minimum order. Okay, so hold on, let's see. I'm just going to pick a random shirt here. Ash, let's say I want this Ash shirt. I just want one. That two card. All right, so the shirt is two dollars and fifty one cents if you just buy one, right? So the the bigger the quantity, the cheaper the price. Okay, price discounted when you get twelve pieces or thirty six pieces or one hundred and forty four pieces. So here here is out right now, Tammy. Uh, let me get a ship shipping quote too. I'm just gonna make up. Ooh, shipping is a lot for that stupid freaking shirt. Yeah, if you're going to buy these wholesale, you want to buy more than one because the shipping is kind of expensive.
One machine, $1.50, then $2 done the deal. She won't have to buy. Yeah, so um, I'm glad that you're intrigued. But yeah, you'd have to save up for a machine or. Okay, before we keep going, Tammy. Who, like, what do you want to sell? Like, do you want to sell to pet people? Like, do you, like, what is the thing that gets you excited and, you know, pumped? You know, is it like selling cat stuff? Is it selling pet stuff? Is it selling, just selling whatever will sell? Like, what is your thing? You know what I mean? While you're typing that, I want to like that. I know that you can sell. Okay. You want to do something for animals. Okay. What do you mean for animals? Okay. I need you to think about Tammy right now, okay? Because you can't help many animals if you can't pay your bills, right? Okay. So, and I know you can sell to anyone, including pet people, but I want to know who do you want to sell to? Like, who do you want your ideal customer to be? Okay. We all can sell to anyone, but who do you want to sell to? Does that make sense? You enjoy the process of making them. Who do you want to sell to? I want to make something for animals first to, to pet people. Okay, for animals, for pet people to buy, right? Which is great. You want to sell to pet people. Okay. You want to sell to pet people. There, now we're talking. So do you know how many cat shirts that I own, Tammy? Now, this one has a squirrel on it, but I own a lot of cat shirts because I'm a cat person. I buy cat shirts like freaking crazy. Okay, I've bought $5 cat shirts. I've bought $30 cat shirts. Okay, so I will buy a $30 cat shirt. I am not buying a $35 bed for my cat. You get what I'm saying? Um, and... I you know, I know a lot of a lot not a lot but I shouldn't say that but a lot of the rescue people a lot of rescue people they don't a lot of times they don't have a lot of money right so I can't see how they're buying a thirty five dollar bed right so I don't know why I brought the bed up but forget about the beds um so selling to pet people which is a great idea because you are involved in that community okay I think that is a great idea so the first things first I think that is a great thing to tap into, okay? You are involved in the cat community, in the pet community. Does that make sense? You have your group, number one, which is small right now, but hey, it's bigger than my group right now. <laughs> and number two, you belong to a lot of pet groups, cat groups, right? And number three, your friends on your Facebook, and I don't know if you're on any other social media streams, but there are a lot of pet people as well. Is all of that accurate so far?
Okay, cool. So that stuff is accurate. So if you wanted to, you can work on getting this press machine that um, George is talking about, which I think is a fabulous idea. You're just you're gonna have to think of um, ideas all the time to um, you know create that or make pet people want to buy them, right? Um, but to get started in that, if you wanted to, you, you're there's always those places like what are they called? Um, like print on demand places. George, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, where is it? Like, uh, let's see, what's it called? Custom Ink. There you go. Custom Ink, T Launch, all those kind of places. Um, Scalable Press. So those kind of places. So here's just an example, Tammy. Your profit is not going to be as big. You're not going to make as much money because Did that link work. Yeah, there you go. Because they do all this, the work for you, right? But you can sell it for whatever you want. Wait, is this it? Yeah, Design Lab. You walk to the Design Lab and just put, hold on a second. I'm just going to do something real quick. Animals. Oh, I don't think you can see my screen. So next time we do this, I'm going to do it in a way where you guys can see my screen. All right. So I'm just doing this real quick because I just want to see how much this costs. So I just made a white shirt with just a picture of a cat on it. And I'm saying get price. So I'm going to say adult extra large. I just want one right now. Where do we send it? All right, so it comes with $20.95. Now, this is just a stupid little quick scenario I made up, but you don't have to buy the shirts. You don't have to do the presses. You don't have to do any of that. They send it out, right? So you can charge, let's say you charge 30 bucks for the shirt which you wouldn't because this is a stupid shirt, but you get my point, right? You could design these shirts right on your computer, not have to buy anything. Um, not have to buy anything, right? That could get you going if you wanted to do shirts. Um, but I would totally concentrate on selling stuff to cat people because you have an audience. You have an audience, okay? Um, you want to post in your group, you know, maybe have a, um, sorry for what, why'd you say sorry, but you want to, um, post in your group about things that you have for sale. Um, there's, I could give you so many ideas. Um, but one thing at a time, I don't want to overwhelm you, right? Cause you could have a, I could give you, it's called a sales funnel. I could totally send you a free sales funnel and you could set that whole thing up to sell constantly to cat people, upsell, downsell, one-time offers. However, oh, you had a cat, so you need to stop it. <laughs> um, however, um, you know, there's a free trial and after the free trial runs out, you have to you know, pay for it. And I don't want to put that pressure on you. Um, but for right now, I would say concentrate on cat people or pet people, okay? Um, do the things that make you the most money. So, and especially it's the holiday time now, right? It's holiday season. So maybe these, so these pillows that you make, do you make them like cat, put cats and dogs and stuff on them? Like that would be ideal, like cats and dogs and you know, any other kind of animals. Even for the rice packs and the seatbelt cover. You could do a package. They get a pillow and two seat covers. Right? Pillow and two seat covers. 35 bucks. Huh? $75. 
Same for all of them. Okay, cool. So do you can like create offers. So okay, so a pillow. Let's say they're twelve dollar pillow, and then two seat belt covers. So it costs you takes you two hours to do the seat belt covers and thirty minutes to do the rice pack. No wait, thirty minutes to do the pillow and two hours to do the seat belt covers. That's two thirty. But you just made because I bumped up the price because we made it a package. Thirty five bucks. Yeah, I know I know you meant dogs. But you know, you can package stuff like for these pet people. George, Glenn, Wes, you guys got any ideas for Tammy? I think you need to definitely, definitely, definitely niche down and just concentrate on one group of group of people you want to sell to. That's number one. Okay, don't sell to everybody. I know that probably sounds silly, but you're not Walmart. You're not McDonald's. You don't want to sell to everybody. Okay. But even speaking of McDonald's, McDonald's isn't selling you a $50 steak, right? No, they're selling you a dollar hamburger. Okay. So you niche down, just pick that one group you want to sell to, which is pet lovers, which is a great group because us pet lovers spend a shitload of money on our pets and on ourselves when it has pet stuff on it. And Christmas is coming up. Now, I don't, you probably don't have enough time to, you know, make a bunch of stuff between now and then, but maybe you do. I don't know how much time you have during the day. But um, your groups, I would totally utilize your groups. Um, your page that you have, um, where is that? Imperfectly created. I would change your name to something that reflects pet products. So people can find it easily. Um, I would sell on post things for sale on Craigslist, on w whatever you can. There's a ton of free Facebook places that you can sell stuff on, right? They're just they're free, like marketplaces. Um, okay, it's all at night. Okay, okay. Um, you can post them on stuff at at. Um, there's a lot of like local groups that you can sell to, but you can go to anybody's group because you can always ship it, right? But you can do that for free. It's free on Facebook, okay? Um, Craigslist, you can do it. You can, you can sell this anywhere you want. And here's the thing. A lot of times people forget about this. You can sell something before you make it. Mm. Well, it's your business, but I'm just I'm just trying to tell tell you, tell you how to get more business. Imperfectly created, nobody has no any idea what that is, right? If I'm looking for cat stuff, imperfectly created is never coming up, ever. It's never coming up. I'm never gonna look at it. It's I'm never gonna find it. Business cards are so dirt cheap. You don't even need business cards actually. You don't need business cards right now. Um, you can just do this stuff all online. Um. Create, like, create another group, you know, or cat's paw, like, something. You need something that lets people know this is what, what I'm doing. This is what I'm creating. Cat stuff, pet stuff, you know, pet shirts, pet this, pet whatever. And perfectly created, I have no idea what that is. Zero. Right? Um, and again, business cards, who cares? I don't have any business cards. I have three businesses. I have no business cards right now. I haven't had a job since 2012. I have no business cards. <laughs> okay, so who cares about business cards? I mean, you can have business cards. That's fine. But don't let having business cards stop you from making a smart business decision. Does that make sense? Um, but that stuff is the least of your worries. That's the least of your worries. You have to get out there and sell, 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 sell right? So um, I would post a picture of... Say these pillows because they take you a half hour. These pillows, okay? I'm just going to talk to you right this second about these pillows. How many of these pillows can you make, Tammy? In, let me say, 
seven, the next seven days, how many pillars do you think you can make? How many of these pillars do you think you can make within the next seven days? The $12 pillars. And that's good that you post on Cat's Paw what you're making. Why don't you ask the people on Cat's Paw what they want? Ah. Make a post saying, hey, guys, I'm getting some holiday orders together, getting some stuff together for the holidays. Do you guys want any and ask about the things that you really want to make? Don't ask about pet beds. Stop making them, Tammy. Stop making the pet beds. Stop, stop, stop. But say, do you guys want any pillows or a seatbelt color? See, it doesn't really match, but pillows, seatbelt covers, or rice packs. But see, that doesn't really match with the group. That, that's the thing that drives me nuts. Yes, but George just said, sometimes... Change is good, Tammy. You, it, you need something that connects your business to your name so it's easier to find you. Okay, how many do you have made already? So, okay. So, Tammy, this is really just a hobby. Clearly, we know this is a hobby, right? Um, because... Nobody could survive if a business only made forty to two hundred dollars a month, right? So this is a hobby for you. Um, oh, I don't know what that is that you're just talking about right there. Um, those were—I don't know what that means. Those were add-ons from the beds and catnip kick sticks. So I don't know what that means. This is how it began, yes. Okay, so it began as a hobby, which that's a, how a lot of things begin, is as a hobby. But if you want it to be a business and pay your bills so you don't have to use your mom's Social Security and make $3,000 a month, or let's say $2,200 a month, let's say $2,200 a month, you're going to have to think different, right? You're going to have to think a little bit differently. You're going to have to do things a little bit differently. The rice packs and seat belt cover. And, okay, how did you come? I'm just curious about this. How did you, how did they get added on? Like, what made you decide, hey, I should make rice packs or hey, I should make seat belt covers and pillows? I'm really curious about this. I like these pillows, though. I really like the pillows. Because they take 30 minutes, you said, and you still have, what, like a $9 profit? Ah, okay, okay. What about the rice packs? How'd you come about that? George, sure. do you have any advice for um, Tammy for the holiday season, what she should and should not be doing right now to make some money? Mm, okay. Now, this festival, did it cost you to have to sit there? Did you, how much did you have to pay for a booth there? Okay, you have 12 pillows made. So 
Isn't your profit's like about nine bucks, right? So that's 180 bucks right there. No, 108 bucks. Thirty dollars for the space for one day. How much did you sell? So you made so you made eighty dollars. So one hundred and ten dollars minus thirty dollars. So you made eighty, right? Eighty profit. Actually, and that's not even profit. That is just how much you sold. How much were your expenses from the items that you sold, right? You got so you got to figure that stuff out, okay, to see if that event was worth it, right? So you sold one hundred and ten dollars worth of items. Okay, figure out what those items were, what they were, how much of that $110 was actually profit. Let's say it was, I'm going to make it up, $90. I don't know, $90. And then it cost you $30 there, so you made $60. Does that make sense, what we just did there? And that, of course, is not accounting for your time, but that's okay. I, I, I'm one of those people, I think that's okay, because... You're either making, you know, doing a job, making money, or you're selling your own shit, making money, right? So, um, you got to figure that out. Number one, always, you know, I got to always be honest with yourself <laughs> with the cost of this stuff, all right? Because you want to make money. You want to get to $2,200 a month or 3000 a month. So, you have to know your costs. <laughs> you have to know your expenses. You have to know it all. George, I know you're sticking with the shirts, but Tammy can't do them right now because she doesn't have that press. So what can she do this month, the month of December, to increase her cash flow right now? What is your suggestion, George? So we're going to uh, ask you that first, George, because you've been very awesome at participating. And while George is thinking of that, Tammy, those 12 pillows that you have right now that are available for sale, what kind of designs are on them? Just curious, what kind of designs are on those 12 pillows that you could sell right this second, right? Because they're already made, you said. <laughs> I'm going over here to look at oh your your beds are cute but uh, stop making them please they really are cute oh there's your pillows there's your pillows I'm on your site. Okay, so that's different audiences there. Do you have a, a picture of, like, let's say your cat pillow that you could, um, like, post right here in that chat, like, where you're typing? Is it is it, like, on a computer that you can do that? Yeah, good point, George. Tammy, are, do you... Are you mad that we're telling you to stop making cat pillows? I mean, beds. Are you mad that we're telling you that? I got to know that. Yeah, that's fine, Tammy. You can take us outside with the dogs. So are you mad that we're advising you to stop making those beds?
Mad, no disappointed. Yes. Okay. It's okay to be disappointed. <laughs> but do you understand? You understand why we're saying that? Like the math just doesn't work. The time doesn't work. It just doesn't make sense, right? Not to mention the price is a lot, right? It's a lot. Um, you just go to Amazon and boom, you can find a pet pillow cheap, right? So anyways, can't, why can't I post a picture in here? I wanted to post a picture. So this is my advice for you. Do you want to sell those 12 pillows right now? Or how long do you think it will take you to sell those 12 pillows that you have, Tammy? Okay, don't ask anyone if they want one. Any, don't ask anybody if they want one. No, it's okay if you don't have a picture. Um, you're not having a lot of luck with pillows. But, so you have those 12 pillows, and how long, when would you like to sell them? Why? Okay, so you got 12 pillows, you got cat pillows. So I want you to, and these pillows that you have, the 12, are they the $12 pillows? And I saw your post, shipping for 20 something dollars, that's nuts. Like you gotta figure that out, so maybe do it local. <laughs> Yeah, George is right. Time is money, and six hours is losing money. You can always go back to it when you feel it's the right time to go back to them, i.e. when you're making enough money to live off of, okay, and you don't have to use mom's Social Security anymore. And then, of course, you can make and make as many and donate as many as you want then. Um, well, not as many as you want because you can. it takes you like three to six hours to make them, right? Um, so take a – what? Yeah. So, sorry guys. So, um, your pillows, right? So, first one, like if you have your cat pillow or dog pillow, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to take a picture of it, the cat and dog pillow together, and you can do one separately if you want. And then I want you to post on your Facebook page. Do you take PayPal for payment? Excuse me. Burping here. That's paid out. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm, I'm posting something right here. Um, hold on, give me one second. Bless you, Spencer. Sorry, Spencer sneezed. Off. Okay, so do you see that message that I just posted right there? I want you to make that post on your Facebook page. 
I'm looking at something real fast. Ah, crap. So that post, make a post like that. Maybe say, please share with your pet. Please share with pet lovers. Can you see that right there? Please share with pet lovers. That's what I want you to do. So we're going to get you to hopefully, hey, Spencer, Spencer's back. We want you to sell some of those pillows, okay? I want you to post that on your personal Facebook page. Post that on your cat's paw page. Yeah, I know the pillows are expensive, so try to sell them locally if you can. Okay, so listen to me, Tammy. Post them on your Facebook page, okay? And, and you know, and go to the post office and be like, what's the cheapest possible freaking way to ship this? Because $20 is nuts. Um, so post on your Facebook page. Post on the Cat's Paw page. Of course, they're not going to be able to share it because it's a – oh, shit. I think my chair is going to break. Um, <laughs> they're not going to share it because it's a, a, a private group, a closed group, but your Facebook friends can share it. Number one. And then number two, come here, Spence. There are local groups in your area that are on Facebook that will let you sell stuff. Okay. There are local groups on Facebook for your area that will let you sell stuff. It's free. Post them on there. Okay, try to sell them locally right now, Tammy. We want you to sell these pillows. I don't think anybody's going to pay 20 bucks for shipping. That's crazy. You know, you're buying a pillow for 12 bucks, but you got to spend 20 bucks for shipping. That's nuts. Okay, so sell them locally. Um, or 15 bucks or whatever that I saw on your, on your uh, page. 15 to 20. That's nuts. It looks like, oh, that's for the beds. How much is the shipping for the pillows? Yes, you got to post again. You got to keep posting. And put, especially um, on your personal Facebook page, Please share to pet lovers. Or please share to Disney lovers. There's so much you could do if you could, um, if you had some extra money so you could buy ads because you could target so easily. Oh my God, you could totally do that, but I'm not going to tell you to. Um, you know, spend money on ads right now. Oh, so you don't even know how much it costs to sh ship a pillow. Okay, so that's a task to do. Find out how much it costs to ship the pillow. 
But you got 12 pillows or so. That's $108 just sitting there waiting for you to take it. That's $108 in profit, right? Because you told me it's like $9 profit a pillow. It's $108 just sitting there waiting for Tammy to do something so somebody can give her money, right? So you got to do something. It's Christmas time. It's the holiday season. Now's the time to sell that shit, right? So once we get off this, I will expect to see one of these posts from you on your Facebook page with a picture of a cat or dog pillow selling it. And you're going to have, you know, some of your cat folks seeing it and hopefully they're going to listen to your please share and they'll share it. And then it'll, it'll go around Facebook. Um, any other final thoughts, George? This took longer than I expected, but it's because this this process is not very good. And I, I apologize, guys. Hey, Wes. Oh, boy. Like, let's get Wes's opinion now. <laughs> so, Wesley. Wesley's the art of the uh, the king of selling shit, too. So, Wesley, um, um, Tammy here makes... Pet beds, rice packs, pillows, seatbelt covers to sell. We've already talked her out of hopefully making any more pet beds because she doesn't, it takes her six hours to make them and uh, she only ends up making about 15, 20 bucks after six hours worth of work. So that's really bad. <laughs> um, so we're hoping she's going to concentrate on, she has 12 pillows right now. That she could sell for $12. I think they're the $12 pillows, uh, hopefully. And she makes a $9 profit on. So we're trying to figure out the best way. Okay, the 12 that you have, how many how much are they? Are they mostly the $8 ones or are they the $12 ones? So basically, Wes, she has crafty stuff that she makes, and we need to help her sell more and create more profit. And part of us helping her sell more and create more profit is that hopefully she will listen to us and stop making cat beds and dog beds. That's not profitable for her, and they take too long for her to make. Okay, so 50-50s, $8 ones versus $12 ones. Um, I think that's how much you said they were. Eight and 12, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so tomorrow, get a picture of all of them. Individually, I would get a picture of. And if there's like, um, and you can maybe get a group picture too. And a cat and dog picture, you know what I mean? Things that go together. And then post, right now just post the, a cat and dog picture. Please share to pet lovers and yada, yada, yada. You know, copy that, what you just, what I posted in there. Then let's say the Disney one. Please share to Disney lovers, yada, yada, yada. And then uh, eight and 15. Okay, eight and 15. Okay, no problem. Um, but yeah, so you have to post about them, right? And post on. Let go. Keep posting on let go. Keep posting on let go. Keep posting not only on the fa Facebook marketplace, but if you look, like there's like so many different um, groups in my er my personal area that I can post in 
that have shit for sale, like garage sale shit, you know, for sale, for sale, for trade, for free, right? Find all those groups and post, post in there as well. And mention the holidays, have them for the holidays, have them perfect gifts, yada, 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 yada. Um, but you have lowered as needed. What does lowered as needed mean? <laughs> and after you get rid of these 12, concentrate on one category. Okay, when you do these deals like this, that's fine, but you have to figure out your costs and your profit. Are you making more money or less money, right? You have to know those costs, right? That's something I want you to start working on and figuring out, especially with the fluff, right? You got to figure out that fluff stuff, okay? Um, yeah, so she sells stuff that she that she makes. She's got pillows. She's got rice packs. She's got seat belt covers. She's got pet beds, which hopefully she's not selling anymore. Um, but she has 12 pillows right now, 12 pillows that she needs to sell. Wes, what do you think is the best way for Tammy to go out and sell these 12 pillows? She sells them for $8 and $15, I believe she said. And sometimes she'll do a special eight for, I mean, two for $12. So after you get rid of these 12, though, Tammy, pick a niche, right? If it's pet people, stick with that. Like, don't make a pillow with princesses on it you know what I mean and then try to sell that like just stick with one niche now if you want to make a princess pillow for a granddaughter for a birthday present that's fine oh shit Wes we went through all that already so it costs like two to three bucks to make the pillows Tammy does not know exactly yet but she's going to work on knowing her exact costs right Tammy Okay, make two for your vet, but then don't make any more. And don't, and when people say, oh, Tammy, can you make me a bed? No, sorry, I don't make beds anymore. It's okay, Wes. Say, no, I'm sorry, I don't make beds anymore. <laughs> Tammy, you want to stop using your mom's social security. Okay, you, you're not going to be able to do that if you keep making these beds for people. Okay, because it takes you too long and you don't make enough money. Does that make sense? I'm sure that makes sense. Right? But after you make those two for your vet, don't make any more, unless it's like a present that you're making for somebody for whatever reason. And then after you sell these 12 pillows, pick a niche. If your niche is pet lovers, stick with that, okay? Stick with that niche and have everything around geared towards pets, like cats and dogs, right? I mean... Um, you can disagree, but you're not going to make any money. <laughs> you want to make cash flow. You want to make cash. You need to make $2,200 a month. $2,200 a month. That's how much you need to make. So you can't disagree. Making a pillow, I mean, making a bed is not going to get you to $2,200 a month. No, don't worry about it. They'll buy what you have at the festival. Right? Niche, niche down. You are the Tammy the pet pillow person. Ha, how about that? Tammy the pet pillow person. Right? So if they want a pet pillow, they're coming to Tammy. Right? 
Don't worry about another festival or any of that stuff right now. Worry about selling those 12 pillows. After you sell the 12 pillows, niche down. Sell one thing. Hey, Wes, I got a question for you. Remember when you went to festivals and sold the... Uh, Yeah, I mean, George, the problem is you're not going to, nobody's going to pay $120 for a pet bed. I buy them for six bucks. Nobody's, pay, nobody's spending $120 for a pet bed. It's not happening. Are you reading what, what Wes is saying here? But yeah, George, if she could charge more, that'd be great, but nobody's paying $120 for a cat bed. Like you go to PetSmart, you get them for five bucks. You get them for six bucks, you go to Amazon. Nobody's paying that for a pet bed. Wes, let me ask you a question. You know when you were doing the festivals and you were selling those cake in the jars, right? You remember that when you were telling me about that? Um. But I don't care. I don't care, Tammy. I don't care that they're nothing like your $35 bed. I'm buying a $6 bed. I don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's how most people are thinking. They don't, they don't give a shit that, oh, your $35 bed is better quality and you handmade it. I don't care. I'm buying a $6 pet bed. Is that, do you understand that? I mean, does that make sense? That's the hard truth. You might not like to hear it, but that's true. Like, I don't care that you sat in your living room and you made that bed for six hours by hand. Don't matter. I'm buying a $6 bed. You know what I mean? And my $6 bed and every other bed that I've ever bought sits there because they, lay, they sleep with me in the bed anyway. Does that make sense? Okay, Wes, so you made those cakes in a, um, those, uh, I know, I know some people do, but we're not talking about some people. We're talking about you making money. You making $2,200 a month. Okay? So who cares about those some people that do care and will pay $35? Who cares? $2,200 a month. Does that make sense? That's what you need to make. That's a lot of money. Forget the freaking beds. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to add more products. Stick with one product, but sell the shit out of it. Make it the best product it is. Know your costs. Know your expenses. Have your niche market. Niche down and sell the shit out of stuff. Okay, Wes. So Wes would sell, um, what do you call it? Uh, cakes in a, a jar at a, um, excuse me, at a festival. What else would you sell when you would sell cakes in a jar at that festival, Wes? What else would you sell? Would you sell pillows? Did you sell beer? Did you sell crackers? <laughs> or did you just sell cakes in a jar? I'm waiting for Wes's answer because Do you see that? Did you, did, okay. I love that. Thank you, Wes. But you did not sell anything else other than cakes in a jar, right? So he started selling cakes in a jar. The only thing he sold was a triple chocolate cake at his festival in a jar. And he sold a triple chocolate cake in a jar until he made $2,000 a month from that. And then he added another variety. Right? So... He just sold cakes. He didn't sell anything else. So if you go to a festival, you don't have to have pillows and seatbelt covers and rice packs and this and that, right? Wes was the cake in the jar guy. Now he's the ATM guy. But he was the cake in the jar guy, okay? You be the cat pillow lady or the pet pillow lady or, or whatever. Pick one thing, get really, really good at it, 
and make a shit ton of money with it. Okay. You don't have to have all this different stuff, you know, at the festival. You know what I mean? Like Glenn, if Glenn was here, he sells Kona ice, water ice. He sells Kona water ice. He doesn't sell pizza too. He doesn't sell, you know, hamburgers. He sells water ice at the festival. Like if you want a water ice, you go to Glenn. If you want a cake in a jar, you go to Wes. If you want a pet pillow, go to Tammy, right? Does this make sense, Tammy? I'm just trying to help you, right? And if if you want to keep insanity, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. It's, you're never gonna you're never gonna get to there if you keep doing what you're doing. Okay. So takeaways. From this, this would have went a whole lot faster if I had a better little um, system here. But stop, stop making beds unless it's a present or something. And of course, we're just giving you our two cents. Oh, there you go. This is perfect. You read that? Are you reading that? You read what Wesley just said? The biggest mistake that he's, he's seen, he's done festivals and events for a long time, is that he saw vendors would try to expand their items and sell 20 or 30 different items instead of focus on giving that one item, which would be the absolute best item they could possibly offer. And in the end, they end up making less money because they offer too many choices. Sometimes too much is too much, and sometimes too little is just right. You like variety. You, like, you don't like doing one thing over and over. It gets boring. Okay, well, how does not having any money to pay the bills feel? Hard talk, serious talk here. How does that feel? Is that boring or does that suck? Okay, once you get to the point where you could pay your bills and you're making a decent amount of money, then add some variety to your life. Right now, pick your best seller, concentrate on it, and sell the shit out of it. Pick one niche audience. Pet lovers, I think that's a great audience because, as you know, us pet lovers love to buy shit <laughs> for ourselves that have pets on them or, you know, for our pets themselves. And if you got that press, like George was talking about, you could do custom pillows for people that have pictures of their pets on them. Oh, shit. <laughs> but that's down the line. That's down the line. Tammy, does any of this make sense? You're probably not going to listen to anything we said, are you? <laughs> You're probably mad. And here's the thing. We don't have all the answers, Tammy. We don't have all the answers. But just based on the information you gave us, we're just kind of giving you our little tidbits that can help you. And Wes, he's a festival guy. He's been doing them for a while. I do festivals and events now, too, but... I have my ATMs there. Like, I don't sell stuff. You know what I mean? I sell cash. Um, and George gave me some awesome ideas. Um, you concentrate from this point forward, no matter what you do. You can listen to us, not listen to us. doesn't matter. Um, I think it matters because I think you need help to get to that $2,200, and the way you're doing things is not going to get you there. But um, just make sure you concentrate on your expenses your cost of goods, right? So that fluff, keep track of that. See how many pillows that makes, okay? And always know your cost. Don't say, I think, I guess, it's around, just rough estimate. No, know how much it is, right? Know how much it costs, know how much you're selling it for. And don't be afraid to sell something before you make it, right? Sell before you make it. Because why make something when you don't think anybody's going to buy it? Then it's just sitting around in your truck. Right? Sell, make, get money. Sell, make, get money. Sell, make, get money. Sell, make, get money. Okay? So after you sell these 12, have those pictures, you know. And then, you know, when you're doing a festival or whatever, sure, you know, make, make some of them. But, um, yeah, totally sell what you have. You got to sell what you have. Right, you want to sell what you have so you make money, right? 
But then after that, I would seriously sit down with yourself and have a little heart-to-heart -heart with yourself and write down all the costs, your expenses, how much you need to make, which is $2,200, and how many of those things with that profit you need to make to make $2,200 and how long it takes you to make those number of things. And then maybe some light bulbs will start going off, right? You don't have enough time to do that. So you're going to have to do, you know, have people buy stuff for me while you're sleeping, like online, right? You know, on let go, you know, Craigslist on your Facebook pages, on these all, every group. So also that's another task for you, <clears throat> not just the Facebook marketplace, but look for local places in your area. Like we have one, there's like a Philly, Philadelphia, sell trade, buy, sell trade, whatever, places like that, post on them all, you know? And I think you can make one post and a post on every single one of them. But um, that's another task. And then your big task is tomorrow posting, you know, please share with your pet lovers, available for Christmas, awesome Christmas gifts, blah, 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 blah. Right? So get them out of your car, take pictures of them, find out the postage. And um, hopefully you listen to a little bit of what we shared. You know, I mean, it's your business ultimately. It's your life ultimately. It's your cash flow to have or not to have ultimately, right? Um, with everyone must say, that's a great point. Don't be afraid to sell something before you make it. When I was selling cake in a jar, we sold out a lot, but I would keep selling the cake from our samples. And I said, I, I have it for you next week. Be here this time. I'll be here, and I'll probably sold a quarter of all our sales. Came from pre-selling that way. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, advertising and marketing does make a big difference. Another thing, and don't be afraid to go into pet shops and pet stores and say, hey, here's a sample of my products. Here's two or three pillows. See if they'll sell. Don't be afraid to give it away to the pet store for them to make a bit of money to turn around. Ah, great idea, Wes. Yeah. Turn around for them to call you back and say, hey, we sold those pillows in two days and we need 10 more. I did that with cake in a jar with different restaurants. You would be amazed at how many places would say, yeah, you're willing to give us a price we're willing to work with you in the long run. Tammy, did you just read what Wes just wrote? Big takeaway there. Big takeaway. So you could totally do that, like with your pillows, and you put like the cat designs or the doll designs or whatever. Whew, that's a winner. That was great. Love that idea, Wes. Yeah, and if you could, I mean, if you could do play Facebook ads, you would, you would definitely do some things there. But um, I'm not gonna try to get you to do Facebook ads right now. You need to do what you got now. Okay, but forget about the beds. You don't make money with the beds. Show them the pillows. Show your vet the pillows. But. But if you want to, you know, if they display their beds and I still don't even think you should pre-sell them. I really don't even think you should. I think it's, I don't think you should make the beds, Tommy. I really don't. Well, that's great. That's how it happened. But okay, let's say, let's say the, the, the beds are at the vet. Somebody sees the bed. Three people see the bed. Oh, we want one of these. Okay. It's going to cost you, take you 18 hours to make those three beds. How much money are you making from making those three beds? If you make a profit of $15 each bed, that's $45, 18 hours, you made $2.50 an hour, Tammy, to make three beds because somebody saw them at your event. It makes no sense. It, it makes no sense. There's not enough time in your life to make those beds 
for you to make enough money. Now, if you want to keep just doing it as a hobby, keep doing it as a hobby, but no, you're never making enough money to, to get the $3,000. You're going to have to keep using mom's social security that you said you don't want to do, right? Now, if you flip that around and get some pillows and have them at the vet, How much longer? How much longer and how much does it cost to make? That's the point. It takes a lot of time for you to make those beds. If you had those pillows sitting at your vet with cat designs or dog designs, and people wanted that, boom, half hour you knock that out, here you go. How do you know, did you ask her? Don't think for people. Don't think for people. Bring in the sample of the pillow. My vet has, um, um, the one vet has like a, um, it's like a wooden bench. What if there was a pillow on each side? A dog one and a cat one. Uh, don't think for people. Don't get in somebody else's head. Let them tell you something. Don't think you know their answers. And because you're going to come in with the pillow and they're going to see the amazing quality and how cute and adorable it is, right? Anybody have any final thoughts for Tammy? Yeah, that's the point. You don't know. Nobody knows until you ask them, right? That's the big thing. Like, even with the kids here, I say like, you never know what you're going to get until you ask. I know, George. I, I, you know, I have no idea. She's stuck on these beds, and they're just time suckers and not money makers. <laughs> if you can make those beds in a half hour, Tammy, that would be a different story. <laughs> you make those beds in a half hour, mm, do it. Make a shit ton of them. <laughs> Heck, you know what you can do? Buy um, some beds when they're on sale in the, in the self wedding. Remember, I'm self-teaching. He is not wrong. What does that mean, though? Self-teaching. Yeah, yeah, I get your self-teaching. But we're trying to help you make money. Here's Wesley's final thought. Focus on one product. Make it the best it can possibly be. Your, your vet, if they like the product, they'll let you put it out there. Go where your profit margin is the best for you to make the money you need to make and then look at expanding. Profit margin is the best. Your beds are going to not let you pay the bills, though, Tammy. I'm sorry to say that. They're, they're not. So you either want to make cash flow or you, you just want to have a hobby that you enjoy doing. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Just know that. Unfortunately, you're going to have to keep using mom's social security because you, you only make $800 at your job. You know what I mean? Um, and if that's the route you choose, that's the route you choose. You know, Wesley, George, and myself, we can't make you do, we can't make you listen. We can't make you stop making beds. There, yeah, yeah, listen to George. If you really like the beds, yes, figure out how to cut down on the costs figure out how to make it faster right so if you're really gung-ho on those beds which I, I i don't see how you can sell so many of them though but do research research excuse me research um the costs you know your your cost and um also see if you can get down a process where you can get them down faster made faster you know you just self-taught yourself how to sell right so as you get better maybe you'll get faster 
Oh my God, your first bet took you a week. Well, you're doing fantastic then. Jeez. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen, this has been great. Um, Tammy, I hope you got some value out of this. And uh, please keep us posted. And tomorrow, definitely um, sell those 12 pillows that you got now and come back into the group and let us know when you sold them. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post uh, in the group. And George, go into the main part of this group and you can pay, post your questions. I'm going to go feed my cats and then I'll come back and answer you. All right, guys, have a great night. And the next time we do the cash seat, it will be a much better process. Thank you, Tammy, for going out on a limb and uh, being our first guinea pig, if you will. <laughs> you did great, Tammy. You did awesome. Um, you guys did awesome. George, Wes, Glenn, you guys all did great sharing uh, info with Tammy as well. All right, guys, have a great night. I will talk to you soon.